Hi everybody, welcome back to the seesaw. So it's Saturday again, um, just come around really quickly. And another absolutely beautiful day. Um, just a bit confused as to why they announced the relaxation of some of the lockdown rules on a Thursday, knowing that it was going to be a beautiful weekend and then saying that the rules, the new rules didn't come into place until Monday. Now, a bit, bit weird, but hey ho. Um, so I went back to Audi today after my disappointing visit to Tesco's last week um, and I just feel calm in Aldi I just don't feel pressured I don't feel tense I just just get on with it and get the shopping done and don't have any issues there was a lady having a go at the man on the door about something I don't know what she was upset about the fact that two people from one family had gone in with two separate trolleys and he said well the rule is one person one trolley unless it's a child and she said, but they're from the same house. They got out of the same car. He said, but they've got two trolleys, so they're absolutely fine. And she was, and I'm like, you know what? Just calm down, lady. It's not worth getting upset about what somebody else is doing. It's not interfering with you. She was quite a long way back in the queue, so she wasn't going into the store yet, so she wasn't going to be right behind them. Just, you know, pick your pick your fights, and that definitely wasn't one to pick. Everybody was hot. It was... <laughs> People were getting irritated and people were just sort of laughing at her really. But I guess everybody um, has their own view of what we should all be doing. And that's the difficulty. Everybody has their own opinion. Um, hey ho. Um, so yes, I went to Aldi, did go over to Sainsbury's for a few bits. Um, I spent £95 today, so over budget. But I think you'll agree when you see what I got, I got quite a lot. And I got a few extra bits of non-food um, that if I take those out, then I would have been probably just over £80 between the two stores. So, um, yeah, I'll turn you around. I'll show you what we got. And then, as always, at the end, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. And so there is our sweet. You can see the sun shining through. I have put the under cabinet lights on just because some bits of the counter are still dark. Um, but it is absolutely, I'm not going to show you out the window because I've got washing hanging on the line. I don't particularly need you to see the washing hanging on the line in our garden. But it is absolutely beautiful. Um, so non-food items, I got my usual TV mag. I picked up one of these um, day creams. La Cura. Now, I usually have Avon. Our Avon lady has been, I've been buying from her for probably seven or eight years. Um, but she's obviously not delivering. She she is still doing orders, but it's all a bit weird and I'm not really sure how it's working. Um, and I'm almost out of face cream, of moisturiser for day cream. Um, and so I just decided to pick this up. I know a lot of people rave about the La Cura range of um, makeup. Now, our Aldi is quite a small store. Um, and so it doesn't have a big range of makeups and things like that, but this looked um, like it would be um, something that might work for me. It's very similar to the product I normally use, and it was £3 something for the jar, which is a lot cheaper. And then I spotted they had some of the Vaseline hand cream with anti-back. Now the anti-back, the sanitizers, we've I went back into work yesterday just to get my office ready for my team to come back. Um, I've got one more coming back in on Monday um, to join me and so it's sort of back to normal routine for me although I am having a couple of work at home days a week um, just to balance it out a little bit especially while Caleb's still at home. Tony's still on furlough so that's not a problem for us but we've got these new hand sanitizer stations all around our site in the factory on the edges of the buildings as you come in the doors and at the entrance to each office and obviously one of the requirements is we sanitize our hands regularly but those alcohol sanitizers really dry out my skin i have quite dry skin anyway um so i just thought this would be helpful in that it will help to um, counteract some of that dryness but it will also add the anti-back without wiping that all off once I've um, once I've used the cream and then I spotted these and I just had to pick them up they were reduced in Sainsbury's um, they're pasta bowls so they are quite a nice size now we don't have if you've seen our meals of the week videos you'll know that when we have kind of noodles or stir fry or curry and rice or pasta we tend to have it in our, we've got some quite large cereal bowls that are quite deep, pink spotty bowls. Um, and we tend to use those, or sometimes I'll just have mine on a plate. Um, but I love pasta bowls. I used to have a really nice set that I had for when I was in the States. They did make it back here, but over the time since then, uh, unfortunately, we've lost all of them in that they've all broken. Um, 
so I just picked up four of these just to have a nice big bowl for when we're having even a salad or something I think looks nice in these sorts of bowls so I was really pleased to see them a couple of other people actually this last week or so in grocery haul videos I've seen have picked up pasta bowls and salad bowls so it must just be something about this time of year and then two of the Harpic, um, we have quite hard water in this area um, and we get a lot of lime scale on all of our plumbing um, and I find that the Harpic, although I do use regular be bleach and just squirt that in every morning, um, I use the Harpic about once a week and that tends to keep the lime scale sort of under control. Um, malted Wheaties, Caleb asked for these this week and this is Tony's cereal of choice as well so the big box will cover them both. Um, some of the fruity waters for Caleb, these are the orange and pineapple ones. A loaf of our normal 50-50 um, King's Meal bread. I spotted these, these were on the kind of extra foodie items down the centre aisle. Um, they're called wa Wahoo? Wa Wow, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you would think the A and the H would be the other way around, but they're not. So I'm not sure. Wow, I don't know. I'm going to give up attempting to say what that might be. But these are little croissants with chocolate and hazelnut flavour filling. Now, they also had them with chocolate and orange. Um, I'm not sure if Kelly does like, like Terry's chocolate orange, but I'm not sure if that would be a flavour he would particularly like. But he likes chocolate hazelnut, which is essentially Nutella. So these are little, but they're individually packaged, which I thought were quite cute. Um, so I've tried, got those for him to try. These, a lot of people have been talking about these recently. Um, these Easy Freezy Squeezy Vimto. And so they're like ice pops, but they're with Vimto, no sugar. And they are five calories a serving. So if anybody else that's following Slimming World, and I know a lot of you are, um, you can have two of these for half a sin. <laughs> so um, it just, if you really want something cold and fruity, um, these are the lowest I've seen in terms of um, calorie count for something that is quite tasty. Um, some salted peanuts for a recipe I'm making this week and then the rest will just be used for snacking. Um, chunky chopped tomatoes and a carton of passata. Some ginger nut biscuits. Some of the um, original wraps. Some garlic mayonnaise I love to have that when we have like chicken and wraps and stuff like that I, I do like the peri peri mayonnaise with most things but I like the garlic mayonnaise with things that are similar to like a kebab that you'd get from the kebab shop um corn flour some golden syrup and some cocoa all of those in the first time I've seen any of those three things on the shelves um since we went into lockdown some digestive biscuits and then a lot of caramac so um I wanted to buy a big bar of Caramac or a multi-pack or some a couple of bags of the buttons but all they had was the little individual bars so I had to buy quite a lot of them. I'm going to make a Caramac cheesecake for our dessert for this week um, and that, hence the digestive biscuits and lots of cream cheese as well um, but that was the only way I could get the Caramac so it was a slightly expensive way of buying it although they were only I think about 40p a, a bar um, and so it probably wasn't any more expensive than buying a big um, multi-pack of them or a couple of bags of the Caramac buttons. But anyway, that's what they're for. I haven't just gone obsessed with eating Caramac chocolate. Um, shortbread fingers and two packages of cookies and cream. Some Italian herbs and some thyme. Spotted these on the centre aisle. Again, I've seen a few people talking about these this week. Um, these are the Rice Krispie squares birthday cake flavour but they're thin they are much much thinner than the rigid than the regular ones and you can see they are 81 calories per snack so again if you're following slimming world that's another one of the snacks that fits into the kind of four to five sins which is quite a nice snack it's usually a snack that you know that you've had um, and it is something that feels a bit naughty or a bit treaty um, and if you can limit yourself to just eating one which I am quite good at that then um, they make a good thing. I've got some things coming this week um, that when they come, I'll show you some other ideas for, if you've got a sweet tooth, some snacks that are fairly low sin. So I will um, put a couple of videos up when they come in so that you can see the sorts of things that I snack on when I want something and I don't want to eat a bar of chocolate or, you know, six shortbread fingers or something. Um, some milk chocolate, which again is for a recipe. I've got some butter. I've got three packs of butter because we're completely out. Um, some chicken stock pots. 
I think that's all the pantry stuff. Um, didn't need milk as Tony picked one up just the other day and we've got one in the freezer as well. Um, but two boxes of the smoothies. Caleb's having at least one of those a day at the moment. Um, apple juice. I've got three pots of double cream. Again, I need some for the cheesecake I'm making. Um, and then I'm going to make some meringues as well. Some little meringue, like little mini pavlovas um, with, to have with some fruit. And for me, just a drizzle of cream. And I know you can get low fat cream and, but it, it these are the sorts of things that I would rather um, in, indulge in. So I'm not too bothered about bread and stuff like that. And um, and actually the sweet treats don't bother me that much. But if I do want something sweet, I want it to feel like I'm having something real rather than something fake, if you know what I mean. So I've got double cream to have some drizzles of that on fruit or pavlova and some for cooking as well. A pot of sour cream. Some cream cheese, now I didn't get low fat, I got the full fat um, to make the cheesecake. It's a no-bake cheesecake, so I could have gone with the low fat. But you know what, if I'm putting all of that caramac in it and having digestive biscuits and butter at the bottom, the, f the cheese is not going to be the be-all and end of all. It's not going to be a healthy dessert. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just need to indulge. And I do enjoy that. That's why my weight loss has been steady. Um, you know, I've lost over a stone while I've been back on Slimming World, um, but I'm not going to be one of these that loses, you know, five stone in a, in a few months because I do like to indulge now and again. And all I do is I have a day, I indulge, and then I'm back on it the next day and put it all behind me. And that might mean that I only lose a pound instead of perhaps three pounds in the week, but I'm okay with that. It's just steadily going down and that's all I'm looking for. Um couple of lunch meals for Caleb he quite enjoyed these last week so a spaghetti and meatballs and a mac and cheese so that he can have those as an alternative at lunchtime um, a big tub of the zero percent Greek yogurt our little sushi counter at Sainsbury's was back open again it's the first of the kind of service counters that I've seen open um, so the deli is still closed the bakery service counter is still closed the pizza um, and snack you know, you can get pizzas made fresh and um, like chicken and stuff like that. That's all still closed. But the little man was there at the sushi counter today. Um, so it was only, you couldn't order it direct from him, but they, he was putting out pots of um, packages of sushi regularly. Um, Caleb and I both love sushi. And so I got a little pack of the salmon sushi just for a little afternoon treat. We'll perhaps sit outside and eat that in a little while when we've got this put away. Um, some little blocks of cheese. Again, a couple of things for Caleb for lunch. Keeping in mind, I'm back at work a few days this week, so it needs to be something quick and easy that he and Tony can put together because um, we won't all be eating lunch together. Um, so a ham and cheese snack attack, or attack a snack, which is just a little tortilla with ham, cheese and ketchup in it, and then a Lunchable with the ham, cheese and crackers. A, a tub of soft scoop vanilla ice cream. Two packages of broccoli florets. They didn't have any fresh broccoli anywhere, so I got an extra bag of the frozen and then a bag of our usual vegetable vegetable medley. Some grated cheddar, some gnocchi, um, grated mozzarella, some tubit yogurts for Caleb and a pack of the light yogurts for me. Um, three vanilla and three of the orange with chocolate um, sprinkles in. Well... Don't very often hear sirens in our through our village. We don't really go anywhere, our village. It's it's not a dead end. It does go through to another village, but rarely do we hear sirens here. So um, if you heard that in the background, um, sounds like there's some more coming. Hmm, wonder, it could be a fire. It's very warm. It could be fire. Um, a package of turkey mints, um, some chicken thigh portions, some chicken thigh fillets, um, some chicken breast mini fillets. I've got two packages of those some regular chicken breast, two packages of sausages, so six skinny and six of the regular pork sausages, um, and two packages of the um, gammon kind of medallions, um, gammon steaks. Wow, there goes some more. Hmm, wonder what's going on, now I'm curious. Um, two packages of potatoes, I need potatoes quite a bit this week, so I bought two bags, they don't look too bad. I notice there's one there with a big cut through it. Um, from the harvesting process but actually the potatoes look quite decent this week um, celery some carrots some onions 
a tub of parsley so we planted out some herbs that we bought at the garden center last weekend but they didn't have any parsley so we've just bought one of these i've never attempted to plant out one of these from the grocery store not sure how it'll do but don't see why it wouldn't work um, and parsley is one of Licky's favorites we have got some mint now growing in the garden again so that's keeping him happy um, some mini carrots that I just want to use these um, prepared carrots just to throw into a crock pot meal this week um, some tarragon and some flat leaf parsley for cooking and then some curly parsley for Licky traditional runner beans now I didn't I didn't plan to get these but one of my favourite memories from summertime when I was young. So my dad grew all of his own vegetables we and salad products. We only ever ate what he grew in the garden. We never bought vegetables at all. He would grow them. And then when I was, I don't know, about eight or nine, we got a big freezer. Um, that was quite a you know, novelty at that time. And he started freezing vegetables so we could have different vegetables around the year. But when I was really young, it was whatever was growing in the garden is what we had. And so at this time of year, runner beans. And he would sit outside and string runner beans and slice them ready for dinner. Um, and that's one of my favourite memories of him. He would sit out there with the cat. The cat would sit next to him and, and he would be slicing runner beans on his little stool. And as I saw these, it just reminded me of my dad. We've got Father's Day coming up. Um, and I just decided I wanted runner beans. So I don't know if Tony or Caleb will like them. They're not quite the same as green beans, but I am determined to have those with a meal. We've got um, a sausage and mash meal this week. We've also got a chicken casserole. So I will build those into the menu somewhere. Um, a bag of bistro salad. I've still got some romaine lettuce from last week. Um, a bag of baby corn, which is still now Licky's favorite little extra treat. Um, some bananas, a bag of mixed peppers, two cucumbers and some berries so i got wonky blueberries wonky raspberries and wonky strawberries um so that was the haul i think you'll agree that's quite a bit more than i've got in recent weeks so i, I didn't mind spending a bit more money so looking at our plan for this week tonight we're going to have a bolognese gnocchi bake so i'm going to essentially mix it all up in a casserole dish and just bake it in the oven so i'm going to brown the mince first but then mix it with the gnocchi, the passata, some seasonings, put cheese on top and just bake it all together in the oven. Tomorrow we're going to have chicken and dumpling casserole with mash and some veg, maybe the green beans, the runner beans. Um, Monday, gammon, chips, eggs and beans. Tuesday, sausage, mash and veg, so quite simple meals to start the week. Wednesday I'm going to do a slow cooker garlic chicken with veggies, so that is the chicken tenders, the chicken mini fillets um with the carrots and some potatoes um and a kind of garlic not really a sauce it's some garlic butter and some other seasonings that you pour over it and just leave it to cook all day so looking forward to that chicken fajitas on thursday and then friday we're having hoisan peanut chicken and rice um so a lot of chicken this week we have got gammon and sausages so we are breaking it up a little bit but chicken is our go-to meat in this house. We and, and we've got a varied week of meals this week. Nothing's really the same. Um, and yet we are using a lot of chicken and obviously turkey mince. So that's our plan for the week. Um, we thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and meal plan. And we look forward to seeing you right back here on The Seesaw soon.